Good morning all. I uh, just thought I'd go through uh, and just keep running along with this uh, toolbox. Um, I haven't done a video for three weeks, so i uh, sort of been really busy with life. Um, so obviously we've got the flooring. Yeah, you know, we've cut that around uh, our head. Uh, in there, we've got a uh, support bracket in through here. Um, just to try and stop it from twisting. So, I just got all the tools. Broke my sausage gun, which is a, a pain in the butt. So, these plates here aren't actually welded in position. They're, I've used uh, Sikaflex uh, 11FC, and it's actually glued in position. Um, so, uh, it'll... The beauty of that is it makes it watertight, but also it's structurally sound. And uh, I've got one door over that side, so they're a huge door. Um, I'm going to need 800 newton metre gas struts to open them. But uh, they've got a frame around the outside of them, uh, which actually holds that. That's just uh, 30 by 30 by 1.6. Um, and that's again that is glued into the door. It's not actually welded uh, Hinges are welded. So um, What I've done, I don't know if you can see it or not, but uh, with the camera um, Hinges are actually built into the door and now you can see the um, The actual tube that's glued in so if we sort of run around it gives you a bit of an idea now of how big the toolbox is. Um, and looking down the side of it, hopefully the sun won't get in the way. Just move around here. So there's our toolbox. Um, so it looks, looks amazing. Coming around, we've put our first uh, piece of... Uh, floor on the trailer we've used two mil um, steel that's just been folded um, again I've used the sicker on the main um, the main section of the floor and only welded the outer edges uh, the header board we've welded in because that's going to be our structural strength uh, for our tipper um, we've got our front guards on there so nice and simple I'm going around and we've been able to put our, our back wall in as well so our light bar so looking forward uh, you actually see through um, so it's ticking along nicely I'm pretty happy with it uh, I'm looking forward to cleaning the yard up um, so yeah another picture of the guard and just where they sit so the last trailer I made the mistake of having the guards too close and they used to rub so uh, that's not that's gonna not happen this time um, and all our weld points in here so um, that's now strong uh, in terms of what's next uh, obviously gas struts are on their way um, we, our, our next piece is we've got the roof in it of course so that's all sealed up um again it's all glued in our next piece will be the front uh, and truck and cutting around the um, the actual pull um so that that's our next thing it's going to be glued in as well uh and then we're going to have a piece of aluminium across the front uh, uh so uh, the checker plate i've decided that it'll be black of course um, black toolbox or uh, um, hammer tone black but underneath, instead of painting it this time, I'm actually going to use rubberized undercoat um, because it's a lot more resistant to stone chips. Um, so I'm just going to fire that on with um, with aerosol cans. Uh, we can put it on thicker, and that will weigh. That'll stop the, the whole thing from hopefully chipping over time. Uh, other than that, uh, I'm really happy with the way it's going. Um, we've sort of put a bit of extra work into it, but. Um, I've got another video of how I glued the, the door 
Um, so we'll put that up as well. All right. Be good.